For me, this ain't a process of demystification, but a process of remystification, of revivifying mystery, of allowing mystery into this process. But becoming ready to change is quite a hard process when you think about it. Take something parochial that I've found to be common among men that have had substance misuse issues and now have like a long time clean. I'm talking 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Looking at, say, pornography or paying for sex or objectifying women unthinkingly. Like, to seriously be ready to let go of that behaviour, that requires a degree of authenticity, honesty, willingness. Because... You know, if we enter into a 12-step program via drugs, alcohol, the consequences can become pretty obvious and vivid. Like, you know, you're getting arrested, there's health problems, your marriage is over, all of that kind of stuff. With subtler forms of addiction, there's usually a reward. That's usually why we're doing it. It's quite hard sometimes. Do you really want to let go of lust? Do you really want to let go of greed? Do you really want to stop being grandiose or arrogant? Having undertaken the inventory process and shared it with another person, we've now got a different perspective on how these defects of character, as they're commonly known, are negatively impacting our life. But this is where this 12-step system enters into a kind of phase of flexibility and a kind of ongoing negotiation is my experience. I put down arrogance, I pick arrogance back up again. I put down lust, I pick lust up again. You know, this can this can vary as a result of everyday um, phenomena, such as bloody being a bit tired or a bit hungry. One of the great maxims of the 12-step program, halt, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. If you're hungry, angry, lonely, tired, you need to consult with other people, connect to other people, re-engage your program. Me, when I'm tired, the first things I reach for are like old behaviours, old methods for self-soothing and self-comfort. The sixth step is about the part of change that we can control, and that's ultimately willingness, readiness. Because I've had the privilege of a pretty obvious chemical addiction, I'm able to identify when things are no longer serving me. I'm able to identify through the use of this program, not through any, any inner ingenuity or any other gift, but because I work this program with other people. So like, say for example, when I was doing this very video that you're watching without getting too meta, when I was first undertaking it, I initially thought this would be something that would be no problem for me. So there's like, that's arrogance. I also have a tendency to be controlling in the way that I work. I'm used to being a comedian, working on my own. I don't consult a lot. I don't trust people. So that's these are my default settings. These are not things that I necessarily observe or I'm aware of, but they are present and they are governing me. Remember my initial point that the 12 steps are a tool for awakening, from transitioning from a place where you're unaware of what's governing your life to a point where you are aware and then you're able to observe. And at the step six point, we'll actually make a decision. Do you want to continue to be arrogant? Do you want to continue to try and be in control of situations? <laughs> Do you want to continue to be uh, lustful and objectifying? You, know, you have to become ready. <laughs>